What's up everybody? This is Eddie the Adventure. Right now I am in Sloss Force. Which is in the middle of nowhere in the northern part of Sweden. I hitchhiked with a couple travelers from Germany. They invited me to come over here in their cottage that they were renting here in Slussfors. These past couple of days have been amazing. We're living off the land. We went out fishing almost twice or three times a day. We pick wild grass to make salads. I've experienced such a natural way of life here and I've connected with them on such a high level. And today we're gonna go check out a husky farm that is owned and operated by the Carlson family, which is the family that owns the cottage that we're staying at. And they breed huskies very selectively for the purpose of sled dogging. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out. I'm Angela Stone Carlson and this is Peter Carlson. We have a husky kennel and we live in Svossfors in the north of Sweden. I have 47 now. 47 that are ready and in the right age for easy racing. I will count again and see how many of them that are in the right age for, for the big race. Yeah, that's the really long distance race. It's a, a 1200 kilometers yeah. race. But yeah. you know how many dogs you have? Yeah, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. I, I, I no? mean, I was, I, yeah. This is Alaskan Huskies. And Alaskan Husky is no, they are no registered breed. They are not registered in any kennel club or something. Yeah. It's a kind, it's a type of sled dog that has been bred for 100 years as a sled dog. So this is, I would say this is the most developed, most specialized sled dog in the world. If you have them, the whole team in the same way, then you, you adjust your way of running because of what kind of dogs you have. Some dogs can be very tough, but they are not that fast. But it means that they can run a lot with not so much rest. They just keep going and keep going. And some dogs can be very fast, but then they need a little bit more rest. When you have your team, it's good if they are maybe not exactly the same, but if they are in the same direction. Very low risk for fighting and things like that because they are bred for being together and many dogs too. Go in one direction and to travel. They, they want to see far, what's yeah. what's behind the next hill, what's behind the next mountain, what's mm. uh, yeah. have been going in one direction for a long time and you try to you, you steer them to go here or something. They always correct it, they adjust themselves like they go back to the to the main direction mm -hmm. that, that we had before. So I have to tell them many times and many times before we have changed the, the main direction. Mm -hmm. If you go for a race, would you take some backup dogs? Once you've started, you're not allowed to change okay. dogs in the team. No. Okay. So you have to have the same dogs. You can take out dogs if they, for example, would get an injury or if they're tired or something. But no, you cannot replace them. If one dog has a bad day, that's sure. enough because he will not keep up with the others. Yeah. The team will never be faster than the slowest dog. Yeah, it makes no. sense. So then no. you, if you Take remove out. that dog, then the others can. They might be faster. better, yeah. When I say that, okay, this is the limit for this dog, this is okay. how far it can take, then I already trained the dog so okay. that the dog has reached his full potential of what the dog can do. The rest of the limits is just. Uh, physical, like genetical limitation. Mm -hmm. I cannot feed like nine, and 19 is not good if they are yeah, running. Sure. Yeah, they rest for three hours or so, and when they rest for three hours, they can eat it. 11 it would probably work for him if he rests for two, three hours, especially later in the race, after a few days, when the pace is a little bit settled. The first day they work so hard, then you have to be careful with the food, not feed too much. They just yeah. eat in one bowl each. I mean, I want them to protect their own bowl with food. They are allowed to tell each other to 
leave this alone, yeah. this is my food. And if they are like, one is going there to steal it, mostly I don't say anything. If it's not like that one is dominant yeah. to the other and trying to scare them away from the food, then I do something about it. Another thing that actually makes a huge difference is the snow. The snow reflects the light so much better. So like mm -hmm. October is the darkest mm -hmm. because then it's before the snow, everything is just rainy, black, okay. brown, like ugh. But when the snow comes, it like lights up. The moon shines upon the yeah. snow. Okay. And it feels... And yeah. also some of the huskies has a lighter eye, so it kind of reflects more <laughs> light. Maybe, I have never thought of that, but maybe, yeah. You know how uh, sometimes cats, their eyes glow in the dark? So I was yeah. thinking maybe the huskies um, have that trait too. Maybe? I have never thought of it, I don't know. No? But I know that like uh, puppies, they're always born with their eyes closed. And when they open their eyes, if they reflect red, that means they'll have a blue eye. Do you have a favorite? One dog that is allowed in the house or something? Nah, we take some dogs in. Some the best cuddler? Mm. We have had. We have We offer sled dog tours for guests that come here for a five dog uh, experience out in the wilderness. That's the tours that we do. We go out for three days and then we stay in cabins. Everyone drives their own team of four to five dogs and then we go out in the nature. We, we live on the border to the Vindelfjellen nature reserve here, so we have the largest nature reserve in Europe just uh, behind the corner. So that's where we do our tours. Petter is the Finnmark Leopard champion. Twice he's won the race, and it's a long distance race where you run 1,200 kilometers through the wilderness of northern Norway. And you can visit our homepage, petterkalsson.com, for more information about our tours. You can also follow us on Facebook on Team Peter Colson Sled Dogs and then you can get more updates of what's happening during races and stuff. Yeah, you have to follow the races and, and cheer for us in the race. <laughs>